is a living bag. This is good. Let's um, drop a bit of gear. Just gonna figure out my abseil point. I might leave that backpack on. I found my ledge. I wanna fish there. I'm not gonna do anything else. I'm just gonna fish there. We just need to get ourselves there. That's the problem now. Catch some fish. Gnarly little cliff this is. Oh, I wish it wasn't overhanging. Oh, overhanging cliffs suck. Upside so down, I'm telling you. The backpack is pulling me. Oh. oh, yeah. A little bit slippery. Bit of water on the ledge. Um. Pretty sure that's all just from yesterday. There was a big swell yesterday. I'm running the PE3 Genesis prototype rod from Ocean's Legacy first up. Got a different reel on there because my 5K Saragossa was looking a bit, or feeling a bit sad, like the drag wasn't working that good. So I've got the um, tent slammer on there that I normally use on the kayak. Um, 30 pound Tazline and I'll show you the lure when I actually catch a fish because I might change it. Um, and I'm also going to slightly awkward ledge here. I can see herring. I got herring in the burly trail. That's a good start. I'm also running the Genesis. That one's actually got the name written on it. Um, prototype P8, 100 pound Taz line on that guy. We'll throw that in if I get smoked. I got something on the drop just then. Oh, I dropped it. Literally felt a hit as it was dropping. All right, that's a good start. Yep. Yes. What is it? The one, it's not very big. Oh yeah, swallowtail. Hey, that's a good sign. Very first cast, decent sized swallowtail. They're actually, they're good eating, they're just a bit small. There we go, very first cast, we got a swallowtail. Beautiful little fish. Uh, they don't get very big, they, I mean, they do get bigger, but size limit is 30 centimeters, this guy's size, good eating. Can't believe it, very first cast. Must be a school of them out there. They are schooling fish and they normally sit on good ground. So we could be onto something good here. Oh, that's a big fish. Come on. I wasn't sure if I was snagged or not. Come on. 
come on. Oh, what's it going to be? Oh. I feel, I feel, uh oh, uh oh, come on, I feel rocks. I just want to ease it over. Come on, come on. Oh, it's gone. All right, time to bust out something heavier. This guy by Mad Eyes, I think it's called. I just got smoked on a. I'll show you what it was. I forget what it's called. Razor Edge Lures Bruce, maybe. I don't know. One of these things for all the baits. That's why I just got smoked on. Let's see if we can hook up on the heavy. All right, time to get smoked on the light outfit again. This time, I've just got a Helgo Twisty on. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna get a bit of bait if I can, just quickly. There's so many herring around. Probably quickly get a bit of bait. Might then, after I get some bait, um. Put a live one out, and we'll see. What are they doing? Not even getting a hit. Like, what's going on, Herring? You're meant to love these things. Oh, Kingy, Kingy, Sambo, 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 Sambo on the herring. All right, all right, all right. Let's go, 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 go. Haven't seen a Sambo for ages. Just watched the Sambo chase the herring in. I don't know where it went, but just a nice little size actually so happily give it a go <sighs> where'd he go yep I'm up tight on something <sighs> good chance that's the sandbag Please give me a home for the money. Come on.
Is it the one that I saw? Because he wasn't even that big. I didn't think he was. There we go. Oh, no, he's bigger than I thought. A lot bigger than I thought. I'd love to wash him up here if I can. Oh. I might just have to try clip camping. Got him over the undercut. Oh, I'm making a mess. Far oh. 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 out, listen to the grunting. What a mission that was. But I am so rooted right now. Oh, there's a good fish on the uh, Genesis prototype on the Helco. I just saw him chasing a whole bunch of herring and I was like, quick, ditch the herring rod. And, um, my lead is a bit shredded there. It's not too bad though, it's only the end of it. But I am so knackered. Fork measurement is 1.2. Tip measurement is 1.3. Thereabouts. Cut some slabs off of him. plastic bags to put any of my fish in so I'm just going to take the bait type stuff out frozen water bottle there quick little swirl of water I'm just going to load them in now we have to do that there, that there, that, that. Bait is not going in there. Might have another skull. So I've filleted the Sambo. I've just got a few little belly strips I'm gonna use as bait. And um, Oh, my back. Hopefully, um, I uh, don't hook a Sambo. Don't really want to hook a Sambo. <sighs> he reefed me. What is it? Better not be a wobby. 
feels a lot like a wobby gun. Could be a big Harley. What do we got? Yeah, Harley. Yes, yes, yes. It's much better. Yes, I love these things. They've got to be one of the best looking fish. So I'm just trying to keep him out of the shadow there. Got like an edge of shadow coming down the rocks here. These things are beautiful and really good eating. Good old harlequin fish. Good set of choppers on him. Doing pretty good here. Harley? Could be another Harlequin. I'm not sure. Feels decent, eh? Oh, it could be a PB Brakesy. Mate, that's a big break sea cod. Yes. That may just be my biggest land based break sea cod. I'm not sure. I'll have to measure him. It's definitely up there. He's in the 40s. He's a proper one. I'll be taking this home. I need to take some food home. You just have to trust me because I'm not tilting the camera. He's either 47 or 48 centimeters. That'll be my PB break sea cod land base, I'd say. I think it was 45 before. This adds another two centimeters or so to it. Stoke, this spot's doing well. I might um, I might as well lob out another bait. Let's give it one more cast. I need to go clean my finger up. Going, that's why. All right, we are ready to send it. We got the Yeti over there with the cliff gap on top, full of fish. I'm gonna haul that up after. Got my bag, got my rods. I'm gonna throw it on my back. Actually, I'm gonna take my PFD off as well. And we gotta haul out of here, so. Yeah, that's good. That backpack's nice and light. Probably around the 15 kilo mark. It's very slippery. Things are getting tangled. Let's get out of here. that crappy overhang <sighs> oh yeah there's a living barry I'm gonna swing around soon and it's gonna suck. <sighs> All right, let's go.
If you can actually put your feet on the wall, this way works well. If you can't, then it is near on impossible. have a fish delivery <sighs> that's actually quite heavy all right I think we are done here pretty much done here anyway thanks for watching guys I'm going to hike out Check back to the car, kind of have a bit of a breather, probably go for an explore. Also, I just want to say sorry about my last video, it ended very abruptly. Oh, spraying crap everywhere, I'm sweating so bad. My last video ended very abruptly just because um, I woke up in the morning, I set my alarm early, and it was just pouring with rain. And you know the one thing that I didn't pack? A raincoat. Um, so I just went back to bed and just hauled myself out of there in the morning. I did get a little bit of footage, but I decided, like, how much rope access stuff can you watch in one video that's supposed to be about fishing? Or is it about fishing? I don't know. But anyway, I just cut it there on the one day, and, um, here we are again, somewhere else, down south, down south in Western Australia. I often get asked where I am. Alright, that's enough. Thanks heaps for watching again anyway.